show me just frustrated. You know, like initially it was fun to just work from home. You don't have to drive anywhere. Amazing. But when you shops are closed, uh, everything is closed and you sit at home from, I don't know, seven to eight and sometimes even up to ten just in zoom meetings and zoom parties like work related and stuff it's, it becomes a little bit frustrating to separate work from personal life and i think ali was just frustrated and like okay i have not left this house for i don't know how long yeah i think last time he went to the office was in october or in november so just decided today is going to go to the office and maybe work in a different environment. But beside the lockdown and stuff, everything is beautiful. Like it's winter now, of course, January, snow. And this year, we're actually lucky we have, it has been snowing for a couple of days. It's beautiful pretty much almost every second, no, every second morning when I wake up. I wake up to snow and it snows also a lot during the day, so it's just beautiful. Uh, so I'm happy for that. One thing that has been keeping us busy, or what I'm trying to do right now, beside uh, Zoom and stuff, like when I'm not working, is we really want to try to make sure that the house is, we have most of the stuff finishes in the house so that by the time things get back to normal and we have to go back to the office then maybe we don't have to to for you know to be nice if this is done but it's, it has been difficult because most of the shops are closed we can only do online uh, orders it does not always uh, you know when you order things online they are not always when they show up at your doorstep, it's not like what you've seen because, you know, things that you see on their website maybe have been photoshopped and things like that. We tried, but we're still a little bit far, a little bit overwhelmed. I'm hoping that the time the baby gets here, uh, we have everything ready. The baby's room is still not ready. How sorry, or the important thing is that we have a bassinet in there. But apart from that, and yeah, we still have to do a bit in there to complete it. I would also want to get a carpet and then our bedroom doesn't have um, like uh, side tables what else I would also want to have a little comfortable rocking chair where I can breastfeed the baby and we have a lot of empty frames in the house that I would also want to complete that but we have to see talk something to discuss something to share something I've been or we have been trying to avoid for a while now but you know sometimes it's nice to hear opinions also from our community and maybe get some tips of how to do better for youtubers if you're a couple even if you just own a channel by yourself you know already how stressful it is it can be at times. It's not always that. Most of the time it's fun, it's enjoyable, especially when you, if you do, like it, if you have a travel channel or, it can also be very nice. And it is sometimes, but not all the time. Sometimes it's, it, it is, uh, it gets stressful. And when you are a couple, that stress is multiplied 10 times. You know how stressful it can be just be with your partner all the time like this lockdown stuff and then on top of that you also have to work together pretty much all the time yeah so the thing is I think moving forward you going to see less and less of Ali right here on this channel and it's something that we've been discussing for a while now we thought from time to time, you know, I think 
we have to decide or we had to decide what is what is best for us as a couple we are obviously expecting a child and we have shared a video also before that sometimes unnecessary arguments that are just YouTube related and you have to really evaluate is it worth arguing about it and if you've been following several couple channels you know some people even end you know like maybe they break up maybe they divorce or they separate because there's so much tension and yeah we are obviously doing this only part time so I can imagine that I think what you are experiencing when you, if we have some arguments or some stressful um, cases related to YouTube are very reduced in comparison to those who are doing it full time. I think if you're doing full time, you have even more attention because it's like you have to wake up every single day with your partner and work on this. And I don't think it's bad. It's it's like uh, I, I take YouTube as any other project you can actually work with or work on together with your partner. So it's not like unusual. I think this is stress that can also arise from any other. If you just work with your partner all the time that I think you expect, you just expect the same stress and arguments that you would also get from YouTube. And of course, for some couples, amazing. They're just people who deal with it super, very well. And yeah, there are some couple, you know, who have owned the channel for 10, 15 years and they're doing it together and it's functional and they found ways and they just, you know, people like, you know, people deal with stress, uh, in different ways some are better some are not for us it came down to you know it's probably best if one person take the youtube thing and focus on it and then you do not have to discuss with the other person every single time you you want to get something done for youtube like oh should we film now should we film later uh, uh. so we felt that would reduce the argument so it just it's easier for one person to decide by themselves than to always communicate to the other person and ask them and say, oh, and you agree, you think this is a good idea, then the other person thinks, oh, no, this is not a good idea, this is not something we should share, this is something we should share. So we, to avoid these disagreements, we felt like, okay, I will be doing YouTube most of the time here, and then I'll Oh, we'll see, he will come in from time to time when he has got time. Otherwise, mainly going to be probably me and uh, as, a, as a person, as a woman, as a wife, especially now I'm doing so much of wife work <laughs> during lockdown and spending most of the time at home and obviously expecting a child and the time that I'm going to take off to, to take care of the baby or breastfeed. A bit of that. I remember back in the day when we did a uh, Namibian trip. I think it was the safari and we had so many amazing video and I don't remember if it was I think Maxine or Monica somebody said it must be very stressful to be on vacation while you're filming something and it is very very stressful like I you know I respect youtubers that um, anybody who own a travel channel because like every time you do a getaway you have to have the camera and film everything you're actually doing or where you're going which is can can be quite stressful and depending on how much time you have oh a lot when we go to Namibia we usually go for two weeks so if I have to film all those two weeks it's like you come back home and you go to work and you feel like oh holiday is over so at this stage with a child coming and we don't know we don't know how the dynamics of the relationships are, of our relationship are going to change but we know definitely it's not going to be the same as before we just think we should make decisions that prioritize our relationship and where we hope this would be the best for us to be also in a happy relationship and shouldn't be only work focused and I think last year made us realize that it is 
when we are also just forced to work from home because um, we cannot go outside as before, go sit uh, in our offices as before. And then after that working time, you also have to do a little bit of work on uh, YouTube and do some intense discussion <laughs> with your partner related to the project you're working on. It's a little bit uh, stressful. So it's we thought it's best if one person takes that. And I hope this is going to be to reduce the arguments. I don't know yet, but uh, I have to be honest. If you had, uh, if you would ask me a year before, so I would probably say no. Everything is just nice, easy, it's easy to do what, it's fun. Uh, honest, it is fun, but not all the time. Like any other project you're working on, I mean, also if you have a job somewhere else, but if you're working with your partner, obviously you have some more intense arguments. We are hoping, I'm hopeful. But as for now, this is what we thought would be the best for us. Excuse me, I'm just getting a little bit distracted because I'm watching. <laughs> I was watching our village video, like I so much miss home. This is what we thought would be best for us and for us as a family, not only Lempis, like not only Ale and myself and Ale, but um, as a family with a child coming, we want to be to do the best that we can do to make sure that we have enough time to spend as a family and to enjoy our life as a family not only filming youtube videos but i will be filming youtube videos from time by myself and then i will ask permission if ali is interested to join in some video and when he is not then he does not have to do if you see me doing any other video by myself it's okay before our relationship go the wrong way because of this we decided mm -mm. One person has to focus on it and then the other and make most of the decisions or film stuff by themselves and easier to to decide whatever they want to throw on the channel. And the question of the day how is there anybody here who is maybe working on a project with uh, you know with a with your boyfriend, with your girlfriend, with your wife? With your husband and how do you deal with uh, stress of just working together how do you deal with your project or is there any youtuber here who's also like a family channel and how do you guys deal with the stress of when to film schedule what what everything that comes with uh, owning a youtube okay. channel um i'm gonna end this video here because i feel like it's getting way too long that's what i wanted to share and it, it has been there already for a while i think it's a topic that we've been discussing pretty much since somewhere mid of last year and I felt like you know it's okay I'm ready to, to share this and accept and move on as for now I'm gonna say have a nice weekend I'm actually it's Friday today it doesn't make much of a difference because we have nowhere to go but it is Friday Ali's not at home so I'm expecting that when he comes back he brings some amazing delicious seafood maybe for dinner shrimps or i don't know shrimps or mussels something nice i'm hoping i'm hoping and yeah then we'll see what how the weekend is going to be like so far it's snowing it's beautiful outside although it's cold but it's beautiful if you enjoyed this video give us a like subscribe to the channel and see you in our next video